Hey guys, it's Gallus. Welcome back to another episode today. I'm Godly. I'm Matilda. And I wanted to really come and get you guys another episode uh, full of action, full of live, love, and of course, giving you word and fragrance knowledge. So what we do on this channel is speak about fragrance, we motivate, and we also give the word. Now, designer fragrances, of course, not just, you know, any fragrances. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe below. Hit the bell. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Today, our video message, God's message, of course, is titled, Awaken Your Relationship. What do I mean by awaken your relationship? And we won't make this video long at all. But I felt like I wanted to get on here with Matilda and really focus in on um, the fact that we have to get back to the basics of what awakens a relationship. Number one, it's compromising. Compromising with your spouse, with your girlfriend or whoever you're with. Compromising, coming down to immediate uh, of who, you know, will overcome the situation or come to a, a agreement on the situation. Number two, prayer with God. Praying with God is very crucial in a godly relationship. But it doesn't matter if you pray by yourself or alone. I think that praying together is great too, but sometimes I pray alone, which is great. And for God to give you that one-on-one -on -one intimacy and, uh, you know, just really um, letting your burdens be on God, placing your troubles on God, and he will take care of it at the end of the day. Number three is time. Spending time with God, getting in the word, acknowledging him, give him praise, uh, pray, um, praying and listening to praise and worship music is great too. Lifting up your day, um, setting, the, setting the tone for the day and getting God on your mind. And my last one, number four is communication and trust. There has to be trust within the relationship or there ain't nothing at all. So men out there, I wanted to address the men. Of course, Matilda's going to address the women. But I want to say the uh, to the men, beloved, love your spouse like no other. Men give your wife and or fiance great affirmations to build her up, to make her strong. God's leadership and favors on a man's life when he's attached with a wife and not being alone. Proverbs 18:22 is a great scripture. When a man finds a wife, he founds he found has found a, tr a treasure, for she is the gift of God to bring him joy and pleasure. But the one who divorces a good thing is not really a good thing. So. What do I want to uh, get into? Men. So I believe that men should have the uh, acknowledgement of, like I said, building up their, their wives. But I think men also should communicate to a T with their wives and be more descriptive in what they want their wives to, uh, how they want to interact with their wives. So what it comes down to is basically having the fundamentals of the relationship and building that trust and not having the enemy come in and swipe out what you guys built. So I think that it's important also for men to take advantage of um, 
knowing what to do as a man in the in the relationship. You know, being strong, also by being humble and patient and showing support. You know, but it doesn't always happen at those times where you're tested by the enemy. But overall, you have to overcome. So overcoming obstacles, overcoming uh, challenges, and like I said, being strong. So Matilda is going to address some things too. So there she is. Yeah, basically what he said is it's similar. Um, I'm going to take it to where when you're married. When you're married, how do you awaken it? You know, things sometimes can become stale, can become like mundane, you know, just just ordinary, you know, but you're not in an ordinary relationship. If God puts you two together, you're extraordinary. You have been set apart. You know, you are for kingdom marriage, right? So you got to you got to get back to the beginning from when you got married. What brought you guys together? What what did you do? What were you doing then that maybe you kind of lost along the way with life? You know, get back to that. Um, of course, communicating with one another, like like he said, um, and just remembering who you are and that union together and what that represents, you know, because ultimately, you know, we're here for God. Um, we're not here to make ourselves happy. We're here to do what God would have us to do. And if he puts you guys together for a kingdom marriage, then we have to rise above. You know, the enemy hates marriage, so he's going to come against it in every way that he, possible that he can to bring division, to bring strife. You know, so it's important that you communicate with one another. Um, and sometimes you may not feel like it. Sometimes you may not want to you know sometimes you just rather do something else or you know you want to talk but you don't want to give place to the other person to talk and you you need to listen you need to hear you need to really listen and hear each other and don't act like what the other person has to say is not important is just as important you know so uh, make sure you respect and honor one another even if you don't want to at that time, you know, we got to just like how sometimes we might not feel like praising God. We might not feel like praying, you know, but we give that sacrifice of praise. You know, we give that sacrifice of prayer, you know, because of what the enemy tries to keep you away from it. And he's always trying to keep you off of that path to bring you off of that path for you to lose your focus. Lose your focus on God and what he has you to do. Lose your focus on your marriage and have you have your attention elsewhere. This is what he does. So we need to listen to each other and hear each other. We need to value each other. We need to speak honorable of one another. And don't let corrupt communication out of your mouth. Like Ephesians 4.29 says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use for the edifying of others. Great ministry. Um, you know, like, don't be, af don't be afraid. Still go out on dates. You know, date each other. Don't be afraid to look good for, for your significant other, for the other person, you know. Get back to that, you know. Look sexy for them, you know, or look handsome for her, you know. Um, get back to that. Light that fire. Um, and then avoid, avoid strife because it, it, it brings a man... Avoiding strife brings a man to honor, Proverbs, what, 20 and 3. But every fool is quarrelsome. So um, starting a quarrel is like get it, letting out water. Stop it before it strikes and breaks out. So you have to recognize the enemy's tactics, you know. And we have to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. I always go back to that scripture, but... Um, that's all. It's just like he said, communication and listening to one another, honor and respectful, 
um, but that's your foundation Jesus is our foundation you know God is God is our foundation Jesus is in between you know and never lose sight of that never lose focus make it a point in your mind set it in your mind that this is what you're gonna do that you don't go around that you don't sway from that you stay focused on that you know so that way there's nothing that can penetrate hmm <laughs> Very interesting. Mm -hmm. So, men of God, thank you for being Christians above all and walking in that set and that tone and that stature. And thank you, God, for, you know, just being with us and being with the future relationships and marriages that mm -hmm. you know every couple's destined to be yeah. and thank you for just blessing this channel thank you for mm -hmm. um transparency and showing how great you are god and also just showing that we can be resilient yes. and persevere and show integrity and honor and humility but like she said you know honor equals trust honor equals you know not having a uh, spirit of dishonesty mm -hmm. so thank you for God revealing everything that comes to pass yeah. And also, fellas, pray for discernment, mm -hmm. discernment of these women that yeah. think they deserve to be put on a pedestal and, or, and above, but they're really nothing. So thank yeah, you, God, for nothing. showing them, you know, the truth mm -hmm. and who they're dating. And yes. hopefully they, uh, God shows it you know sooner than later in your relationship but have confidence you know fellas mindful you know and and uh as men mindful of who you're dating mindful of um what women try to you know get you consumed up in and how the enemy can have you consumed in other things too as well but anyways that is the message and hopefully you guys take that in having your relationship awakened and renewed by the word spending time in the word being you know showing that you can be or find a compromise with your spouse or mate whatever mm -hmm. it may be prayer with god mm -hmm. time with each other uh like she mentioned, you know, dating each other again. You never stop dating when you're married anyways. A communication and trust. And if you don't have trust, then why, why are you even together? Mm -hmm. So, trust is huge, mm -hmm. you know. And I think that women need to really, women nowadays shouldn't even deserve uh, a guy that you know is not even women just are are different women don't deserve a guy that is uh decent and works hard and yet you know mm -hmm. she, she has to work for that man mm -hmm. yeah you know we work for women mm -hmm. you know believe it or not you know a man might say you know what i'm not paying for a woman but yet, when you take a woman to dinner, you're paying for her. So that was a good, a good, was a good analogy. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on to fragrance. So I got these two fragrances. Of course, I'm gonna do a versus. It's Dolce and Gabbana, the one. Very good, very spicy, woody, fresh. 
smoky. So with this one, you have resinous, woody, scent, spicy, smoky, like I mentioned, ginger, coriander, cardamom, um, tobacco, and orange blossom and basil. Versus, new to the channel, continuum, to me. Now this is a one full ounce, this is Eau de Parfum, and I believe this is a Eau de Parfum as well. So these two head to head knocking each other. The co continuum, of course, very, very uh, luxurious. I think it's niche, I'm not sure. Uh, could be designer, you guys let me know. Uh, but I'm gonna see which one Matilda likes more. And both are beautiful. This has suede, oud. You have some green mandarin orange the notes are slightly different from each other and then you have some musk you have some uh, some orris root like i said suede again because this is beautiful i would definitely wear this often i mean i already wore it you know i wear it uh, during leisure time but it has fragrance scents in this too as well and the projection is beautiful. You got about maybe seven or eight hours with this, and then with the Dolce Gabbana, the one, you have about seven hours solid. But what makes these both different is that one has a tobacco hint, and that is Dolce Gabbana. It has that tobacco, smooth, smoky flavor, and once you put this on, of course, you for the winter time or uh, fall and whatnot. And then, then you have this one for the fall also. Very, very nice fragrances. New to the channel. Continuum is a beauty that I will be mentioning even more. Uh, might mix and match it with some other fragrances similar to it. Uh, but I love both fragrances. And which one did you find more? Exciting. Oh, this one. Continue. So they're they're different in the sense of like the Dolce Gabbana has more of like I don't know, it's almost like a bubbly scent to me, like like you just got out of a bubble bath. Kind of like is what I'm getting right now. And then this one is um, like you could smell the <laughs> yeah you could smell like the greenery like I know mm -hmm. it said green mandarin orange it's almost mm -hmm. like it reminds me more of this season you know mm -hmm. the Christmas season mm -hmm. and the cinnamon and the trees the evergreens mm -hmm. and and, um, and this one's like. Both really good, just depending on the scent. This one's a sweeter, sweeter mm -hmm. smell. But They're really alike, aren't they? They really play off each other. Yeah, like you could probably mix them. Yeah. Like you do. Yeah, I layer these two together. Mm -hmm. They're really nice. But it's a tough call. Okay. What do you think? People are waiting. Yeah. Um. Like right now, as of today, you know, it's funny because you said the tobacco's in that one, but this one has a smell of tobacco to me. Right. And so. it, it could be the ginger. Oh, it's probably the ginger. Or the uh, resinous woody, spicy mm -hmm. woody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or that mix with it. Yeah. But for me right now, as of today, because tomorrow could be different, I like the Dolce Gabbana over. Uh, this one is still very good. Yeah, this one is good. Uh, Continuum by Tumi. Mm -hmm. That's really good. But Dolce wins. I mean, a lot of people love this. This is. Mm -hmm a uh, mainstream, popular mainstream fragrance, but go get it guys. You heard it from Matilda herself. And that's about all the time we have today, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this Sunday and uh, we'll have another episode for you guys shortly. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel below and give us a thumbs up. 
Hopefully you enjoyed that word, getting your relationship awakened. Of course, if you haven't given your life over to God, you can quote Romans 10 and 9, confess out of your mouth, believe it in your heart that Jesus is risen. And of course, he's descended first and then risen because he had to take the keys from the enemy. So we thank you for watching and uh, bless God first.